Hey YouTube, it's Pava and Tripod. Hello. Got a knife review. This is the Gerber Basic knife. Um, why did I buy it? Because this was the first fixed blade I ever carried. This was from Gavco. And uh, I loved carrying it so much, I wanted another fixed blade. So I look, thanks a lot, Gavco. Yeah. <laughs> it is, it's fun. They're, they're quicker to, to uh, get out than folders. And they may be a little slower putting away, but they're easier and faster to get out. So I did enjoy carrying this, and I still carry it. When I carry a folder, I clip this onto my belt loop. So this is the Gerber Basic. It does come with a plate. Um, oh, first of all, why I bought, you know, I looked at the Azula and the Becker Necker, all those other ones. Like I even thought about this, you know, one idea is to carry it in your pocket, like just throwing the, or carrying it on your belt. You can carry it like this, like I do. But when you get to the bigger fixed blade, if you carry it upside down like this, you know, it'll be longer and longer. And I already have enough problems sitting on this in the car. Sometimes I forget to put it in my pocket like that. So, I wanted one. This comes with a pocket sheath already. Look at this. It comes with a pocket clip on it. There's a pocket clip. So, that's all you have to do to put it on. You don't have to clip it to your belt. You slide it on like a folder. It's got this big ass pocket clip. It's got good tension. This is never, I've ran with this. Uh, it does not slide out. Um, they do warn on the website. Here, let me pull this out. Here's the, the knife real quick. It's measured three and a half inch. They say it's a three and a half inch blade, but that's from here to there. It's like a three inch cutting surface, so. And the handle, is about as long as the blade but uh we'll talk about that in a second but uh oh shit what was i gonna yeah. say oh the website they tell you when you buy this knife right on the website it says uh fits securely in sheath you know it may be difficult to pull out i i got this before work i had maybe an hour to fiddle with it i could not get it out of the sheath and I was pulling on it and pulling on it and pushing because you push here see there's this little cutout so when you push it kind of goes up because it, it rests on these notches it locks onto these notches right there the jimping but uh, yeah I couldn't get it out so I had to wait all day till I got off work and then I took the clip off and then I really tugged on it and pushed pushed that up there and after that you know I put it uh, you know, I worked it in, kept doing it over and over. So it locks up nicely there. Um, the thing I like about this, the sheath, by the way, it's like a soft plastic. It's not Kydex. So sometimes you, if you put it in wrong, it kind of cuts into the sheath. And then I think I have to resharpen it. So. I always have to be very careful putting it back in. There is a plate that goes here, but I just I'm just saving the screws. The plate is this. It looks pretty cool. It just says Gerber. So I have this, and the two other screws are in here. I just kept them because uh, the screw for the plate goes here, and then this one, which is covered in, it's covered over with plastic. That I had a lot of difficulties. I kept dropping the screw and it was very difficult to find they're pretty tiny so i just left it off so i got two extra screws for the for this and the same screws go in there so i just took that off i kept that off i know it's a gerber it says it on the blade so okay the thing i really like about this one is this choil right here when it's sitting in your pocket and you go to grab it your finger just hooks on it it just hooks on it right there and it helps you pull it out because you put your finger in the choil and hook hook that part of the handle that's what I really like about this handle and then you push off this jimping it doesn't look like it would be effective that fucker flies yeah it does so it's really easy to pop out of your pocket um, so this jimping it's really 
I'm on the knife. Okay. <laughs> it's really, it looked like you were drifting. It's really effective. It grabs your finger. I really like it. There is some jimping down here. The same kind, the big, the big rounded edges. The serrations here. Uh, they do sharpen up nicely. I sharpened them up on the sharp maker. And then the front part, it does come decently sharp. It's not razor sharp when you first get it. But Gerber did, they do a good job on sharpening this. Uh, it's pretty thick. It's decently thick. The handle has these, it's like little plastic plates. And this is like a rubber, a squishy rubber. It's kind of rounded, so it, it just sits in your palm right there. If you really need to grip down on it, it kind of fills your palm. Also, uh, you can hold it like this. But the handle is kind of short. So your pinky goes in there. And then these fingers wrap it up. But because it's kind of round, the handle's kind of round. It fills up your hand. So you can just grab onto that and stab down if you need to into something. Like a can of soup or something. You know, hobo style. Why wouldn't you use a can soup? opener? If you didn't have one. If this was all you had in the world, this was your one tool, and you were starving for them franken beans, you would open up the can. <laughs> what, is this? what a jackass. But you would hold it like that. So, I guess you can put a lanyard through there. I'm not going to. You get any closer to my leg, and I'm going to kick you in your privates. My private? My private Johnsons? <laughs> my privates. So, uh, I like this. Now I want an even bigger fixed blade, but I'm going to be happy with this for a while. What did you just say? I said I want a bigger one, too. How many knives you got coming right now? Uh, I got some from Jobin. Yeah, you have three from Jobin and one from Infidel. Yeah. That's four knives coming, and you're sitting here telling me you want another one? Uh, yeah. I always want knives. Fucking greedy that's little a permanent, bastard. That's a permanent thing. You can look at me every day and you can wonder, what is he thinking? Guess what? I'm thinking it's I want knives. more knives. <laughs> Do you guys see what I put up I with? I want more knives and I love my wife. That's what I'm thinking. Yeah. Nice save, <laughs> asshole. Oh my god. Yeah, infidel. He's hooking me up with this titanium catbird. Ooh, yeah. Oh, Jesus. You know, this is a really expensive fucking habit. Yeah, it is. So, here's the fixed blade. Very nice. If you're looking, if you want to pocket carry a fixed blade, there's the pocket sheath. You don't have to make your own. It's ready to go. This clip is a great idea. Oh, one quick thing. We went to, we went to the bigger city next to us, and they have the large... De you know, Home Depot, Depot and Lowe's and all that. We found this at Home Depot. In the Father's Day section. Was it Father's Day stuff? Yeah, it was a part of the Father's Day stuff. But anyway, so they just had this out. This whole, all four of these. It comes with batteries. These little ones use four button cells. And the button cells, uh, here I'll just show you. They come in a, which is pretty cool for a cheap flashlight. They have this battery sleeve. That holds all the button cells in. It's plastic. It goes around the button cells so they don't fall all over the place. Um, these O-rings, they came, they came lubed up with oil, which is another good feature so you don't rip the O-rings. Um, you know, this all four were $8, so what is that, $2 a piece or whatever? Mm -hmm. These little ones, these little ones on the button cells are actually brighter than the... They're rated at 35 lumens for the little ones. I think the little ones is up here. Yeah. 35 lumens for two hours. And then the big ones are double A down here is the ratings. And th these come with the pocket clips. The pocket clip right here. Um, I think it's only with the head up though. Because if you switched it, the clip would hang off this way. You can't put it over here. This is rubber for good grit. Ooh, a strobe. Oh, yeah. Oh, but, uh, yeah, so this is rubber. Nice clip. Nice and strong. You can take it off. This unscrews right here. 
I think it unscrews back here. No, this unscrews Don't right break here. it. But these unscrew in two places. Up here and down here they unscrew. These are very light. And they're very bright. These little ones are brighter. I'll probably use up these ones that take up the button cells first. And then I'll just continually use these uh, double A? Yeah, double A, not triple A. Yeah, double A ones. Look, ten batteries included. Here's the one I was using. The Rayovac. The blue one that I got for Christmas kept flickering and that pisses me off. So I went back to this Rayovac. It's like a three dollar pin light on a double A. And uh, these ones just blow it out of the water. Bam! See, you can't even see it. These blow it out of the water. So, $8 for those. Those are pretty cool. You go to Home Depot, check those out. Alright, see y'all later. Say, oh, wait, the wallets. Let's do a different video for okay. this. We're already at 10 min right. 11 minutes. Okay, good. Okay, check All out right. the next vid. Bye! Yeah. Phoenix. Yeah. Right. Hey, YouTube, Pavlov again. Um, I just wanted to show you on this basic. Uh, I got it from Blade HQ. Love shopping with them, but uh, they mailed it in a big box with lots of peanuts in it. And I'm lucky they did because they throw my mail over my fence because they're scared of my dogs. And my dogs grabbed the package this time. <laughs> so I'm lucky it was a huge box because check this out. Look, teeth marks. They got through the big box. I mean, they just said grabbed it like this a couple times. They didn't shred it, shred the whole outer box. But uh, they managed to puncture the box. The knife was okay. You know, if it had been like an envelope or whatever, they might have damaged the knife. You know, the, the sheath is it's soft plastic. So, yeah, I just wanted to show that the knife escaped certain death at the hands of my dogs you know I, I like it that I don't have to go anywhere to pick it up but they just toss it over we had like a birthday present stolen out of the yard one time because somebody just left it so anyway there's that and let me just show you just the sheath in my pocket there it sits right there and then you just holster it right there I haven't cut my pants yet I think that's previous damage and you just slide the knife back in there alright guys